In this experiment, we're going to compare four different appliances and see which one is the most efficient at heating up water. The water we're going to use is 0.5 kilograms, and the appliances are a tea kettle, a little dippy thing, well, I'll show you how we use that later on, a hot plate, and a microwave. Now, the deal is that this might be very fast at heating up water, but it might also use a lot of electrical power. So even though it's very quick, its efficiency might be low if it sucks a lot of electrical power. So we're going to have to find out the power consumption of each appliance. Luckily, by law, in Canada, it has to be put on a tag somewhere on the appliance. Now, you're going to need these later on in your data table, and uh, I'll just read them off here. This tea kettle uses 1,500 watts of electrical energy. So, in other words, 1,500 joules per second of electrical power. This little dippy device supposedly uses 200 watts. So write these down as we go along. Hot plate, if you crank it up to maximum, there, it supposedly uses 750 watts. So write that down as well. Microwave says somewhere in the back here. Uh, power consumption, 1.45 kilowatts. In other words, 1,450 watts. So hopefully you got those four numbers. Put them down in your data table to begin with. Okay, now to do our measurements, we're going to divide it into four little components here. And we'll begin with the microwave. First, though, you will need to know the starting temperature of the water, which is 22 degrees. And remember, we've got 0 0.5 kilograms of it. Put her in for, let's say, two minutes. You'll need to write that number down as well. Okay, then. Oh, hot, hot, hot. Let's see, let's see what we have for our final temperature here. Around 68 degrees. So there you go. That's it for the microwave experiment. Now let's do the tea kettle. Uh, the starting temperature of the water is 23 degrees. And for this one, we don't want the water to start boiling because then um, energy won't be used to heat it up anymore. Instead, it'll be used to change phase of the water. So we want to stop well before 100 degrees. So let's say that we time it and see how long it takes until we reach 50 degrees, and that'll be our cutoff point. Okay, so we're starting again then with 23 degrees. Put it into our kettle. Put the lid on. It'll always be a little bit more efficient with the lid on. And uh, I'll start timing as soon as I plug the cord in. Start. Just wait for the temperature to rise. Now I stopped it at 1 minute and 20 seconds. In other words, that's 80 seconds. And the final temperature is 68 degrees. OK, let's do the hot plate. The water is, again, 0 0.5 kilograms. And the temperature is 23 degrees Celsius again. And this time, we'll just put it on the hot plate and press go. Plug it in. Start our timer. Now, even though it's boiling almost on the very bottom, we're at 55 degrees roughly overall. So that's going to be our final temperature, 55 degrees. And our time is 19.5 minutes. Of course, you'll have to convert that into seconds.
So finally, we've got this little thing here. Now I think the official name for it is an immersion heater, but uh, whatever. Plug it in. Oh, by the way, the water temperature for this one is 23 degrees as well to start out with. Put it in there, start the timer. Well, that should do it, I think. The temperature right now is bang on 50 degrees and the time is 6 minutes and 10 seconds. So again, don't forget to convert that entirely to seconds.